Although I've talked about dealing with the age factor in one of my videos, it doesn't hurt to deal with it again, especially now that we're talking about silent letters and we're moving to the letter H. In this class, you'd not just learn the words in which the letter H is silent, you'd also learn how to manage the H factor. If you're interested in dealing with the H factor and learning the words in which the letter H is silent, you want to keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to Fluently Speaking with Sibola. Let's deal with this H factor. Now the H factor simply means introducing the H sound to words that do not have the H sound and taking out the H sound from words that carry the H sound. Now what is the H sound? The H sound is the same as the sound you make when you exhale. That's the H sound. Now people who have the H factor usually introduce that sound to words which do not carry it and then they take out the sound from words that actually carry it for example when you have a word like egg the word egg does not carry the h sound in any way but when you have the h factor you tend to introduce the sound to the word egg and then instead of saying egg you say heck heck <laughs> One thing you need to learn is to laugh at your mistakes so that, you know, you don't take it too seriously. You don't take it to heart. And then it makes it easier for you to deal with those mistakes and then not repeat them. Okay. So introducing the H sound to words which do not carry the H sound or removing the H sound from words which carry it. Let's talk about words that carry the H sound and make several examples before we delve into words where the letter H is silent. For example, how, how. Now, if you have the H factor, instead of saying how, you tend to say how, right? The H is gone, but you're supposed to say how. Have, have. If you have the H factor, you tend to say have instead of have, right? Now, the H factor is common with people who are from the southwestern part of Nigeria especially those who are from the Yoruba tribe, you tend, we tend to have the H factor. So you want to ensure that you take this class seriously if you have the H factor because it might affect you, especially if you're someone who engages or who is involved in public speaking or anything that has to do with presentation. So for instance, if you have the H factor, you say something like, how are you? Instead of, how are you? How are you? You say, eh when what you mean is hair so if you have the h factor you wouldn't be able to differentiate between hair hair and ear ear you tend to pronounce this as hair right you wouldn't be able to describe or you wouldn't be able to differentiate it between the action of hearing and the organ of hearing right so the organ is the ear ear but the action is here here right so the h sound is introduced in hearing while the h sound is taken out from the organ ear ear okay the same thing applies to eat eat the action the verb the action of eating which is different from the heat the noun heat heat of course heat can also serve as a verb so it can go both ways as a verb heat the food before you eat it heat the food before you eat it or we need more heat for the winter so in that case the heat is serving as a noun okay that taken now let's go into words where the h sound is non-existent words that carry the h letter but the h is absolutely silent before we do that, did you know that words like who, who, the H is pronounced in who, 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 whose, whose, whole, whole, the same way you pronounce whole, whole, whole. So the H is pronounced while the W is silent. We'll delve into that more when we talk about silent Ws. But let's delve now into silent H. Words in which the letter H is silent. 
Now, while the H letter appears in this word, it is absolutely not to be pronounced when it comes to the pronunciation. Okay, so you have it, you have examples like air, air. It starts with the letter H, but the H is absolutely silent. Honor, honor, hour, hour. So you pronounce this hour the same way you pronounce this hour, hour, hour. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm right the h is not to be pronounced so i got this request from someone a while ago asking me to deal with the h factor or asking me to do a video on how to deal with the h factor so i hope that this meets that need especially for that person who made that request now another way to deal with the h factor is to write out a list of words that contain the letter h transcribe the words and then pronounce practice the essence of transcribing is to know which of them contain the sound and those which do not carry the sound. So that way it helps you when you're practicing. So you pronounce the words, practice, practice, practice. You know what I always say, you have to keep practicing so that that's the only way you can get better, so that you can get better. You have to keep practicing. So pronounce the words to yourself, say them in your daily conversations, ensure that you put it to use, not only when you have a presentation, remember, you have to say them right even when you're not doing a formal presentation or a public speaking engagement ensure that you pronounce your words correctly so write a list of the words with the letter h words that have the letter h those that do not have the letter h and pronounce say them out loud read in front of your mirror get scripts get scripts books read them to yourself and that way you'd see the improvement. Now to other words with the silent H. Honorarium, honorarium. So the H is silent, it's not honorarium, no. The H is there, but it is non-existent when you're pronouncing it. Honorarium, honorarium. Same goes for honorary, honorary. Only that the stress is on the first syllable in this case, in honorarium. The stress is on the third syllable rare but in honorary the stress is on the first syllable honorary honorary same goes for honorable honorable now let's talk about words where the h letter doesn't start it it's in the middle but it is absolutely silent for instance anchor 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 chaos chaos Chaos, melancholy, melancholy. So I'd like you to give me examples of words in which the letter H is silent in the comment section. And please remember to like, share, drop a comment. I'll see you in this video or this video. Thank you for watching. Bye. -ya.